Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie VO where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So in today's video I'm going to show you where you can get my favorite 100% free royalty free design resources and if you don't know what royalty free resources are I will explain that further in this video. Basically I'm going to show you where you can download videos, images, music, fonts, vectors, illustrations, and use all of these completely 100% for free in your personal and commercial projects. And before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one, where I will share with you tips and tricks on how to become a work from home freelancer and make money online. So first of all, what are royalty free resources? So Wikipedia says that royalty free material subject to copyright or other intellectual property rights may be used without the need to pay royalties or license fees for each use. So for example, royalty free material subject can be music, images, videos, fonts, vectors or graphics or illustrations. So if we look at this picture here, I have a membership to a website called Storyblocks and I pay a one-time membership and I can use any of their images for free and use them as many times as I want. But I had to pay for that membership to be able to download and use these images from Storyblocks.com. However, there are many different stock photo websites out there that are completely free and that have licensing that you can download and use any of their images or videos or graphics completely for free in your personal and commercial projects. So for example, this image here, which is very similar in quality to this image here, I got on a website called unsplash.com and I didn't have to pay anything you can download the images, you can download them and use them in your projects and it's completely royalty free and you don't have to pay anything and you can use this image in any of your projects. So if you don't have the budget to get really high quality royalty free images from websites like Shutterstock or Stock Photo or pay for a membership for something like Storyblocks, there are so many different free websites that I used when I was starting out as a freelancer when I didn't have the money to pay for a membership. So I'm going to show you my favorite royalty free websites that are 100% free and that you can use in your projects. And I'm also going to show you where you can look at the license so you can be completely sure there will be no copyright issues for you using these videos and images and music. So let's get started. So the first website I want to show you is unsplash.com and here you can find tons of photos. There's wallpapers, there's nature photos, people photos, there's literally almost every photo that you can possibly imagine. And first of all, if you want to learn about the Unsplash license, we're going to click on that. And you can see here that all photos can be downloaded and used for free for commercial and non-commercial purposes. And there's no permission needed. So you do not need to um, say, okay, I got this photo from Unsplash from this photographer. You don't have to. Now, the only thing that is not permitted is you cannot sell the photos without significant modification. You also cannot use these photos to create your own royalty free website. So you can't start, you know, Joe's royalty free images and then try to compete and upload the same images from here. Okay. So aside from that, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want. Let's click on wallpapers and see all these amazing, beautiful wallpapers. Let's say business and work. Let's say you're, you want to look for a keyboard image. You know, this is a really great image and to download it, you just click on it and you can click on this arrow and choose if you want small, medium or large, the highest or the original size, which is the highest quality file. So you can click on that. And then here you have the image that you're perfectly ready to use. So this is a really amazing website. Unsplash has so many different, you can see there's over 9,000 photos and there's different collections as well. Okay, so now let's look at the next website, which is burst.shopify.com. Again, free stock photos for websites and commercial use. If we scroll down to frequently asked questions, they will tell you that it's a free stock photo platform that is powered by Shopify. Are these photos free for commercial use? Yes, in fact, we highly encourage it. 
You can use these free photos on your online store, product packaging, or anywhere else you like. You can even use these pics to create t-shirts, mugs, or other products. So here they say, do you need to credit the site or photographer? And while the photographers appreciate getting credit, you don't have to. So it is not mandatory under their image license. So here you can look under collections. There's all sorts of different collections, animals around the world, backgrounds. You can look at new photos, business ideas, or you can just type in whatever you want. So let's say portrait, and you've got all these different beautiful images, and they're really gorgeous images. They are taken by real photographers. Okay, so now let's look at the next one, and this is one I used a lot when I was getting started, stocksnap.io. Hundreds of high resolution images added weekly, free from copyright restrictions. So if you click on that, we can see the license. And it says the Creative Commons license that StockSnap uses is this license right here, which means you can download the file, publish, revise, copy, alter, and share the image and use the image as it is or altered in both commercial and personal contexts. And again, you don't need to even attribute the image to the creator. Okay, so again, at the top here, you can search by categories, all photos, trending, and you can just see there's so many different beautiful images that you can use and alter for your projects, whether that's your website, to create videos, and so on and so forth. Now, when you type in something at the top here, you'll see these little stars. Now, these are all sponsored images, sponsored by Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a really common website where you have to pay to use royalty-free images, and they're quite expensive. It's, you know, one of the top stock footage websites. So just ignore all the ones at the top with the stars. These ones are not included, um, and stock snap would be all of these ones underneath it, the ones that do not have the stars. And again, to download one of these images, you would just click on the image, and then here, click free download, and then it will automatically download the image for you to use. The next website is negativespace.co. Again, beautiful high resolution free stock photos. You can browse through here and also you can click on any of the categories. So let's say you want some more ones related to the city, click on that and they'll show you all the different images that you have available for you to use. You can also at the bottom here, look by photo colors, which is cr quite cool. So let's say you want something purplish and here again at the top here, these are Shutterstock images. This is, you know, so ignore these ones because these ones are paid. It's all of these ones down here that are free. And to download one, just click on it and then click here, download free stock photo. It might just open up the image for you and then you'd have to right click and choose save image as and then just save it to wherever you want on your desktop. And then you'll have the image free for you to use. The next one is pickwizard.com, and this is not only photos, but also videos. Again, it says here, royalty-free and safe for commercial use with no attribution required. And you can search by photos or by videos. So let's say I'm gonna search by videos, and let's say I'm gonna type in people and search. Now the ones at the top here are again, powered by Shutterstock, it's their ad, so just ignore the ones that say premium on them. But this one, for example, is not premium. You could download this one or any of these images to use. You just click on it to download it. And then it, again, it tells you the license. And you can click here to learn more about the license if you want to make sure you can use it. Again, you don't have to attribute the author. You can't say anything negative about the people in the videos. But again, it says under our free licensing model, you may download the images without paying and use the images in your works entirely free of charge. So to download this, we would just click download here. Then you can choose the quality level, SD, HD, or 4K. Let's say I want HD. And then it will download the video right here for me to use in my projects. This is a great one, especially to look for videos because there's a lot of different stock free stock photo websites but not as many videos so this is definitely one i recommend you checking out the next one is a more commonly used one pexels.com and this again has both photos and videos that you can search for so you can scroll down here and look at free stock photos you can also click on videos and search by you know any videos that you want here they have their trending free stock videos we can search, let's search uh, business. And you've got all these different ones that you can use. So let's say 
I want to use this one here. To download it, you'll just click here and you can choose the original quality size or full HD. Um, the higher the resolution, the better the quality. Let's say I just want it in HD, then click free download. And then again, here you'll have your video that you can use. And to look at the pixels licensing, if you just want to make sure that it's okay for you to use these videos and images, at the top you can just click on license. And again, they'll tell you what is allowed and what is not allowed. Here you can use all photos and videos for free. You don't have to attribute or give credit to the uh, photographer and you can modify the photos and use them as you like. So they give you some ideas on your website, your blog, your app, promote, promote your product, share them on social media. Another thing that's cool that you can look for here is green screen footage. I have a video on how to work with green screen footage that I will link to in the description below. But here, if you type in green screen, you can see all these different green screen images. So you could key out the green here and play, replace it with your own image and also on videos. And there's so many different green screen videos that you can use and put your own background, um, which is really great for different business videos. The next one is another really common one, pixabay.com. And this one has photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, and music. So let's say we click on music and you can download thousands of different music and audio tracks and you can use these as background, you know, as background music in your YouTube videos or in videos that you're doing for a client or your own personal projects. Um, and then you can search on the side by genre, something upbeat, and then you just press play. And there's so many different really great tracks. And to download it, you can just click download and there you have the MP3. So this is just an awesome website for so many different things. Let's click on vectors. All these really cool little logos and vectors that you can use in your projects as well. Illustrations. There's just so many different things and you know, you can have fun with these and edit them and, and change them and to make them your own image and use them in your projects, which is just awesome. And if we want to look at the Pixabay license, we're going to click, uh, learn more at the bottom here uh, click on license pixabay.com slash service slash license. And it tells you what is allowed and what is not allowed. So you can use these for, free for commercial and non-commercial use across print and digital. You don't have to give credit to the author and you can make modifications. Again, you can't portray the people in the pictures in a bad way and you can't sell any unaltered copies of the image. So you can't sell the exact copy of the photo as a poster or print um, or a physical product. So let's say you want to use some of these in your designs on Etsy. You can't just take you know, a, a cartoon of a lemon and sell it on Etsy. You'd have to make your own adjustments. Maybe you change the color. Maybe you add some other design elements and add some text. Don't just copy and paste and try to sell it because that is not allowed. Okay. The next website I'm going to show you is font space and font space. There are free downloads of legally licensed fonts that are perfect for your design projects. So at the top here, click on fonts and here you're going to type you're going to click commercial use, and these will show you all of the ones that are 100% free. So this means you can use these, they're public domain fonts, and you can use any of these fonts in your projects without having to attribute the author. Some of these are just for personal use. So that's why it's important to put the commercial use one. And that way, all of these different fonts you'll be able to use. So let's say we want cute. So you can see all of these are 100% free and you can use any of these. And to download a font, you would click on it and they show you some examples of how it would look in a product. And then you can click on free download. And here they give you a little bit of the license. So again, this one 100% for free. And you can click on the font once it opens up in a zip file and then just double click on the TTF file and click install. And now this file will be installed on your computer for you to use. 
And the last website that I want to show you is called Pixten.com. There are all sorts of different web and design resources that you can use. At the top here, you can see print, web, icons, vectors, and graphics. And the free ones, you would just hover over one of the categories and then go to free. Or you could just click right here and click free and it will pop up a whole bunch of different ones that you can you can look at. So these are all mockups. And if you've watched my tutorial on Etsy, I show you how to make your own different mockups. Let's say you want to sell something on Etsy, a printable, or say you're going to sell your services as a logo creator and you want a nice way to display your logos. And you can download any of these files, which are PSD files that you would open up in Photoshop and you would replace all of these with your own graphics or logos, depending on what you're trying to sell. So to get the free ones, you can click here under free, or let's say you can go to icons and then click free. And then here there's all sorts of these really cool icons that you can use completely for free. Let's go under graphics and press free. So let's say this one, for example, if you click on it, you could download this file and open it up in Photoshop and then replace this with your own image. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I can teach you how to do that in another tutorial. But to download this resource, and again, it says free resource here, and you can view the license, you click download, and then it will open up as, um, it will download this zip file for you. And then once you open up that and extract that zip file, and you open it up in Photoshop, you can go ahead and replace this image with your own image. Uh, again, I'm gonna show you how to do this in another tutorial and not this one. But basically, this is just an amazing website for all sorts of different graphics and mockups and things that you can use in your own projects. Okay, so that's it for this video on my list of favorite 100% free, royalty-free websites where you can get all sorts of media for your own projects. So if you guys like this video, please click like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. If you have any other favorite websites that you like to use like this, feel free to share in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video.